we have the third type of letter, the semi-formal letter. The semi-formal letter are formal, formal letters with some qualities of personal letter. We call it semi-formal letter because it has some qualities of a formal letter and also qualities of an informal letter. And the categories of letters we can under this semi-formal letter, letter written to one's adult friends, one adult friend or elderly people. This kind of letter, the person you are writing to does not know you well or fairly knows you. That is a semi-formal letter. The person you are writing to does not know you too well or fairly knows you. That means the person knows you partially, not like an informal letter that the person knows you well. But in a semi-formal letter, the person does not know you too well or fairly. Or fairly. So the second person you can write this kind of letter to is letter written to friends of one's parents. Your friend's parents. The, you, the kind of letter you write to them is a semi-formal letter. And letters written to one's former teacher, housemaster or sports master. The kind of letter you write to your former teacher, former sports master or house master. They are referred to as a semi-formal letter. This kind of letter, the person you are writing to does not know you too well or fairly knows you. So we are going to move to the format of a semi-formal letter. We have format of what? Of a semi-formal letter. In semi-formal letter, the writer's address should be at the right hand corner. Remember in informal letter, the writer's address is at the right hand corner. Also in the semi-formal letter, the writer's address is at the right hand corner. And remember, we just have one address in a semi-formal letter. Never use two address in a semi-formal letter. When writing your greetings and salutation, you write Dear, with title and surname of the person you are writing to. If the person is a chief, dear chief, are they color the surname of the person? If the person is an allergy, dear allergy, Ahmed. So the title chief allergy is also a title. If it's a pastor, dear pastor Collins. So when writing such letter, you want indicate the title. The third one, in complimentary clothes, use yours sincerely only. You make use of yours sincerely only in a semi-formal letter. Avoid the use of yours faithfully. It's only a formal letter will make use of yours faithfully, but in a semi-formal letter will make use of yours sincerely only. The last one, write full names or initial and surname and remember to put your signature above. We have yours sincerely. We have the fourth one, write full names or initial and surname and remember to put your signature above the name. Like we have in a formal letter, we have yours faithfully, then signature. You have same in a semi-formal letter. Yours sincerely, your signature and your name and surname. So about semi-formal letter, I said semi-formal letter are letters written to people that does not know you too well. The people you are writing to knows you fairly or does not know you too well. This letter requires one address. And the salutation and greetings we have dear with the title of the person and the surname. Dear Chief Adekola. That is an example of what? A semi formal letter. And in a semi formal letter, there is no need of title. We don't use edit in a semi formal letter. The complimentary clause, we only use yours sincerely. Yours sincerely, avoid the use of yours faithfully. And when you want to close a semi-formal letter, we we'll use it just sincerely, signature, and other or calling, full stop.
So you can see the difference between a semi-formal letter, informal letter, and informal letter. Formal letter we have two address. Semi-formal letter we have one address. Informal letter we have just one address. And in the greetings of a formal letter we have dear sir, dear ma, or dear madam, dear editor, or dear principal. When you're writing to a school. But in an informal letter, we have Dear Tola, Dear Shago, My Dearest Kole, My Dearest Oge, etc. In semi formal letter, we make use of a dear and the title of the person you are writing to and the surname. And we have the body of the letter. In the body of the letter of a formal letter, we have Edin, the title. But semi formal, we don't have Edin, we don't have title. But in also in informal letter we don't have heading or title, but in formal letter we have heading, which leads us further towards the closing subscript. In the closing subscript we have just sincerely, just ever, your lovely friend in informal letter, but formal letter we just have yours faithfully with signature and just full name of the person. Semi formal letter we have yours sincerely, signature, and the name, full name of the person writing the letter. That is all the three letters we have. An example of a semi formal letter. In a semi formal letter, I told you we have just one address. And ten temidayon le, comma, ibadon, full stop. Tenth August, we have, comma, 2020, we have full stop. I told you when writing this, the greeting and salutation, you must indicate a title. Either you make use of Uncle, Mr., etc. Alaji. Any title. Dear Chief Adekola, let's say for instance, your family friend of yours that had accidents. For you to write, a letter to the person. This is to say how sorry I was to hear of your dreadful accident and was deeply shocked. I do hope that you are not in too much pain and that you are in a good and you are in good ends. Anyway, this is just to send you love and best wishes. Last paragraph. Please give my love to Aunt Efe and family. Yours sincerely. I will have signature and fully. In this letter, you don't need, in a semi formal letter, you don't need colloquial language, no need of slang. There is no need of abbreviation in a semi formal letter. You what? You try and relate with the person in a normal way because the person you are writing to is not really close to you like that. So you can see the, uh, the choice of words used here is kind of simple and easy. The person will be able to know more about you with your full name and your append signature. And now we have just one address. The salutation and greeting. There is no need of title. There is no title in a semi formal letter. You go straight to the point and your closing subscript, your sincerely signature, and your full name. That is all on the three letters we have the formal letter, the semi formal letter, and the informal letter. I've given you an example on what a formal letter, semi formal letter, and informal letter. So during exams, you should be able to what, identify the kind of letter you are asked to write. If it's a letter to the person that is well known to you, you know that that is an informal letter. If it's a letter to the person that is not well known to you, a person who knows you fairly well, you make it what, a semi-formal letter. But if it's an official letter, that is a formal letter. And you just use the format that you have been taught. I hope you enjoyed this class. See you next class.